Hello everyone, I am so excited to come paint with you. Um, I am teaching my paint like an artist, Don't Hold Back. It's kind of had two names. I've been teaching it for a little over 10 years now. It's one of my best selling, best attended workshops and probably one of the most inspiring even for myself because every time I come to the canvas on this workshop, it's a uniquely different experience. And so if you are wondering, what is this class all about? I'm here to share with you a little of the samples and a little bit more of the information. So uh, originally my Paint Like an Artist class, which is now Don't Hold Back because I don't know if Paint Like an Artist is what it is. I just want you to not hold back. Anyway, I digress. Um, I like to paint on a large canvas for this. I had originally painted only on 36 by 36. I like a square canvas, but I've come to the point where, you know what? Don't go out and buy a really expensive canvas. Use what you've got. If you want to paint on uh, 10 8 by 8s and stack them up, you can. But here's the reason why I paint big. This class is about opening up your chest. It's about putting something on the canvas that you didn't know was there, that you tapped into. And I want to Pull that out of you without you having to think about it. And that's what we do. The large canvas, it's actually easier to paint on a large canvas. And we tend to hyper-focus when we get small. So that's one of the reasons for that. And the other thing is painting on an easel. Now, this might be the first time you're painting on an easel, but I just think it's fantastic to paint on an easel because it feels different, but also you're looking at the canvas in the way it would hang on the wall, as opposed to painting flat. You're looking at it like from a warped perspective. So painting on an easel makes it that the way you see it is the way everybody else will see it. Um, so now I want to kind of take you through a couple of the uh, designs, the end result, because nobody walks out of this workshop creating the same painting, nor will you ever walk out of this workshop painting the same painting twice, which is the reason why I have taught it so often over the years and the reason why students of mine have come back year after year to take this workshop with me. It's about growth. It's about discovering something you didn't know was there. And inevitably, I have people that are in tears at the end of the workshop so proud of what they did that they're shocked that that came out of them. And that's why this workshop is now called Don't Hold Back, because I feel like the more you put on the canvas, the more you get out of it. All right, so let's go look at a couple samples. All right, so I call throwing uh, the kitchen sink at the canvas what this is. It's basically play. We add things like collage, and we start to refine it over the course of the workshop. Now, no, this is not done immediately. We work on this over the course of several days to develop and find something out of the piece. And so everyone brings their own story and their own color palette and their own marks to the piece, but it starts out really ugly and then it kind of morphs into this development of idea. So over the course of the days, as we work through this, we gather all our eyes, we lean into ideas that you might have and build a piece of art from your initial chaos. And that chaos is really intrinsically your voice. And I love pulling that out of your piece. Now, some people make figures, some people will pull florals, some people will pull abstracts. Everybody will find their own specific intention in the so piece. My favorite part of this is that everybody's work is different. Everybody takes as long as they need to get to where they want to go in the piece. Sometimes people are so anxious painting on a large canvas, painting uh, uh, ways that they didn't paint before, maybe they're first time painters, and it doesn't matter where you start, whether you're a brand new beginner, never painted before, or someone that's a seasoned artist, this process pulls something uniquely divine out of all of us. And it's a celebration. Uh, everybody has been successful over the course of the years. I must have taught thousands of students and everybody ends successful. And that measure of success is only measured by your personal desire to find something in the piece. And that's 
where I come in to help you find it, hone it in, develop it. And the other thing is every person in the class will get eyes on your piece. And it is this collaborative snowball that builds into this piece of artwork at the end. Now I might be talking all magical about it, but I do love this course and I just love teaching it. And I'm so excited to meet you where you are with this blank canvas. And at the end of this workshop, we're going to have built something beautiful together. So if you have questions, you can feel free to reach out to me personally um, because uh, I'm here if you need me. Can't wait to see you.